Morning everyone. Let's talk about optimal diets and the science of cooking. Let me just summarize. We spoke, uh, my last uh, coverage was about wholesome natural diets and that one can rely on home prepared diets. Uh, the latest weekly uh, studies came out in California, uh, concurring what, what I have been advocating all this time, that wholesome diets should be judged on its own merits, or not to whom we're feeding. Okay, so let's talk about optimal diets. Everybody is saying my diet is optimal, and they talk about balanced diets. I just want to remind you that every pet food out there is balanced by law. You have to have a registration in order to sell your, your product. It doesn't make, make one product better than the other. But what is difference, uh, different with a natural home cooked prepared diet is that rather than relying on synthetic uh, chemical based um, supplements and vitamins, we rely on proper wholesome natural ingredients to derive those balances. So as I was saying, there are certain scientific ways of preparing an optimal home-cooked diet. Um, how to put it together, it's, it's, we're not in the primitive ages anymore. We know how to make um, a health, healthy, wholesome diet. You know, one component of that is your grains, and I'm going to get into it in much more detail, but certain grains we classify as alkaline-based and are very nutritious. Some grains are uh, refined and have a high acidic rating which we would not recommend. You have a meat component, again a very dubious subject which I will discuss further, what should be cooked, what should not be. We certainly support uh, human uh, safety standards and we like to get our meat to be cooked to about 72 degrees just so we kill off pathogens and possible salmonellas. Then you've got the other component which is your vegetable source, your, uh, your herbs, those all should be raw, fantastic, great variety of your green vegetables, you add a couple of wonderful supplements, your, your omega-3s, kelp, dandelion, vitamin C, you get a beautiful, fantastic balance, uh, balanced diet. We can ex um, explain a lot more in details about the exact science of a home prepared diet, but that at least gets your interest up. Tomorrow I'm also going to talk about just supplements. There's certain supplements that I support. Remembering even uh, natural diets are found wanting in that uh, not all our ingredients are organic. They're not, they don't produce like they used to. So supplementation is also essential for our pet's health. Let me continue tomorrow morning. Until then, cheers.